We are joined on the phone now by the mayor of Utica, Robert Palmieri. Good morning, Mayor. How are you? I'm doing very good. How about yourself? Uh, but it's, it's how's the DPW doing? It's got to be relentless here, back it's, to back to back days. Daunting. It's uh, they're doing a great job, but certainly, uh, I think uh, any uh, Department of Public Works at this point is pretty tired at this point. Uh, we've been getting these little bursts, these little uh, lake effect snow uh, bands are coming in here and dro dropping, you know, anywhere between three to four inches within a short period of time. And then you think you're over the hurdle, and then within another six hours, you got another little uh, white white out going on. So it's it's challenging, but this is uh, unfortunately this is upstate New York. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, it, it's not a bad thing. It's bad for our budget, but it's good for the skiers, the snowmobilers, and all the restaurants uh, that look forward for this during the uh, the winter months. Mayor, you uh, you announced uh, the other day you are seeking a third term in office. Uh, why should the voters of Utica uh, put their trust in you for another four years? Well, I, it's been an honor to serve this great city for the last eight years. And I think uh, when we, we look back on 2012, where, where we have come from, uh, the city was facing uh, bankruptcy. Um, the city didn't have uh, very little economic development going on. Uh, we were stripped of our uh, demolition and our facade through HUD. Uh, so we, we had to really uh, lace up our shoes and, and dig down. We made some very difficult decisions. We had to make some cuts of roughly over 20 percent of our workforce. Uh, we had to raise taxes. Uh, we were downgraded by all three of the rating agencies. Uh, as we look for, forward at this time, uh, we've been upgraded by all three of the rating agencies. Standard a couple times, Poor's. too, right? All three. Yeah. Yeah, Mo Moody, Standard & Poor's, and uh, uh, who's it? Uh, Off the top of my head, I can't think. Uh, Fitch? Please. Fitch? Standard & Poor's and Fitch. It, yeah. Exactly. So, um, and our fund balance was a negative $15,000, and now we stand uh, roughly at $6.7 million in our fund balance, which means that our bond rating has gone up. Uh, wow. If you look at our downtown in the surrounding areas, whether it be North Utica, South Utica, East or West, or Cornhill, there's been an explosion of economic development. Uh, we've had a number of buildings that people have said, you know what, um, you'll never be able to sell them. And these were roughly 12 city-owned properties uh, that we, unfortunately, we, we they were foreclosed. And whether it be the landmark building or the new century building or the security building or the ConMed building, uh, I could go on and on. It could be the Roosevelt School, where now we're going to have a multi-million dollar um, affordable housing over in Cornhill. Um, you'll look at happen over on uh, West Street, with, uh, partnering with the Rescue Mission, uh, Jeffrey Hardware's, where it's now is a steri. Um, North Utica, the Harbor, uh, the, the relationship I have with the Patels. All these. Um, there's so many great things that are going at this point. Uh, our our tax base increased last year by $12 million. Um, our sales tax has, has been up over what we projected, which is a strong indication that economic development in the city is going well. Um, our partners within the county, within the state, our federal government, and our local developers uh, has been very strong. Uh, so I just, uh, if you're asking me why, I have a passion for this city. I truly love the city. We did close to over maybe 650 miles of our quality of life sweeps, which we try to bring um, hope back to the people who have said no one cares about them. And we go out during the April until December, and we talk, we visit, we clean, we paint, uh, to bring people back on board, not just in one part of the city, throughout the entire city. So I, I think... Uh, looking at it at this point, we have made some major strides at this point. I want to be able to have continue uh, to, to move the city in, in an area that I, I can look back and say, you know what, my grandchildren, your grandchildren, have the opportunity to stay here if they want. But if they do want to move, that's because they want to, not because they have to. Yeah, Mayor, I don't think anybody questions your love for the city. You're obviously a passionate guy. It's coming right out of your pores. That is the case for you on a third term. But you know this. You're going to get criticized for your opportunity to even have a third term. Uh, how do you take that criticism that, that you that's, – that's one thing your opponent has said many times, and he's been saying it for a while. You went around the voters. You gave yourself and other elected officials the opportunity for a third term. You changed the charter without letting the people hear it. What's your defense to that? There's, there's no defense. The bottom line is everything that was done it was procedurally correct and, and legal. Uh, you know, you could always be on both sides of a, an issue, and, and at the end of the day, the city of Utica is one of the very few uh, in Oneida County that has term limits, and we are still having term limits. They, are, they have been moved from 8 to 12. Um, there's no other the county seats. 
uh, the state seats, uh, other municipalities do not have term limits. City of Utica does have term limits, and I respect that. And just because I have the ability to run, or any other, the could be the president of the Common Council or members of the Common Council, it doesn't mean that I am going to be able to have the, the ability to win. I chose at this point, uh, sitting with my family, my wife, and some supporters, uh, they, they they feel, and as I feel, that the city has made some major strides. And at the end of the day, uh, Jeff, it's it's really up to the, the voters. I could tell the story. I could show them what we've done. But at the end of the day, it's going to be them. This is not political. You know, everyone's going to have opinions. But I'm, what I'm stating to you at this point, our economic development, uh, our, our tax base, uh, the fact that there is, there's growth in this city that we haven't seen, these are factual things. And, and truly, it'll be up to the residents. And as I said, I'd be honored to serve another four years to continue the path of progress that the city has made. Mayor, one more thing, and we're just about out of time. Uh, another criticism that's been hurled at you is property taxes, Have you, as you indicated, have gone up a couple of times over your terms in office. This year, as you seek a third term, it's down 2%. How do you respond to that criticism? Is this an election year budget? Uh, sure. Let me respond to this. We've been very fortunate in working uh, health care. Listen, 90% of our budget is contractual, and there's only so much you can control. We were very fortunate this, this year selling two properties, the marina that was talked about for years, that was a cost to the taxpayers. That will be back on the tax rolls. And also in 1900 Bleecker Street, which was another, uh, you know, unfortunately foreclosure that we were responsible for, whatever has to be done, whether it be demolition, whatever remediation, we were able to sell that. And I think in any great corporation, the shareholders, when there's a great year, share the, the, the benefits of that. And that's what I'm doing. I chose at this point, it's a windfall of these two major uh, revenue sources that are coming in. Uh, and next year, they won't be there. But we've tried throughout my entire administration to keep the taxes as low as possible. There are some things that are uncontrollable. As I said, 90 percent of the budget is contractual. The other 10 percent is salt, it's gas, and some of the uh, other amenities are a little bit. We have caught our workforce from the beginning. We deliver a great product. We have a great city. Uh, my motto is, you know, if Utica starts with you, I want to be the best little city in America. I think we got the greatest population of diversity, warm, giving community. I want to be able to sell that product to all the people that are coming here and our developers. And I think if the residents look around, they can see there is definitely a change in the atmosphere and the environment of our great city. All right, Mayor, i got to cut you off there. I appreciate your time. We wish you the best of luck. We'd, we'd like to check in with you periodically throughout the, uh, throughout the election here, throughout the election season, and I hope you'll agree to come on and do that. Utica proud. All right. Thank you. Right. The mayor of Utica, Rob Palmieri. There's going to be week. a primary in June. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, he'll be facing Joe Marino in a Democrat primary. So uh, we will see what happens with that. The mayor announcing earlier this week that he is seeking another term in office.